Hi, everybody. Today for math, we're looking at lesson 9.4, which is page 621 in your Go Math book. And we're looking at problem solving, adding and subtracting lengths. I think it's an easy lesson. I think you'll get through it really quickly. How can drawing a diagram help when solving problems about lengths? So we're going to talk about drawing a diagram today. And we're going to make sure that our name is on this. And we are going to make sure that the date is on this. Whoops. It is April 23rd. 2020. We're going to read about Nate and Myra here. Nate had 23 centimeters of string. He gave 9 centimeters of string to Myra. How much string does Nate have now? Well, pretty simple. But here's 23. This is what 23 centimeters looks like. So that's about how much string he has. So what do we need to find? Well, how much string Nate has now. Nate had what? He had 23 centimeters of string. He gave, how many? He gave nine centimeters to Myra. So the only thing you can see here how they've drawn the diagram. So here's the 23 centimeters of string. And then they're heading backwards. They're counting back nine. And where do we end up? Okay, when we have 23 centimeters of string, we get rid of 9 of those centimeters, we end up on 14, all right? This line here is for your number sentence. So it's 23 subtract 9 equals 14. Nate has 14 centimeters of string now. So go ahead and finish that page up and join us on the next page. Hit pause if you need to. Okay. We are now looking at 622. And up here it says, try another problem. Here are the directions. Draw a diagram, All right? So that's what we're doing on the number line. We're drawing a diagram. Write a number sentence using a box for the unknown number. Then solve. Clue word, box. Got that? Clue word, box. Ellie has a ribbon that is 12 centimeters long. Gwen has a ribbon that is 9 centimeters long. How many centimeters of ribbon do they have? So Ellie has a 12 centimeter ribbon. Gwen has a 9 centimeter ribbon. We're finding out how many they have. So are we adding or subtracting if we're finding a total? Okay. We are adding. We are adding. So we need to put 12 on our number line, and then we need to add 9 more to that. So here's our 12, and now I'm going to add 9 to it. What? Well, what is 12 plus 9? Okay. But we'll, we'll count. We'll do 9 mountains. And we end up at 21. So we need to write our number sentence with a box for the unknown number. We can just put the answer right in there. And you, they already gave you, they already gave you a number sentence. Or a, they already gave you a complete sentence, so you don't have to write one. I'm just going to write that in. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm going to let you finish 622. You can hit pause now and finish 622. And join us for 623. Making sure my name is at the top. We've got the same directions going on here. Draw a diagram, write a number sentence using a box for the unknown number, then solve. You do need to follow these directions. Okay. I'm going to let you do three on your own. I think it's pretty easy. Number four is a math on the spot. You can watch that. I loaded that into your lessons in math on the spot. Now, one thing about number four is that it doesn't give you a line for a number sentence. So draw a line. And this is a mystery number sentence. All right. So because we have a ribbon was 22 centimeters long, then Martha cut a piece off to give to Tau. So that's our unknown. Okay, okay, we don't know what that piece now the cent the ribbon is five centimeters long. Okay, so 22 minus something is equal to five centimeters long. So draw a line for your number sentence here. And then hit pause while you finish up page 623. Please make sure you don't skip anything. Then on to the back. Remember, I use every name line. It just makes it so much easier for me when I'm trying to correct. I don't have to dig to another part of the packet to look. So thank you, and I can even put the date on again. This says uni, uni, use a unit cube. You don't need to use a unit cube. Just cross that right out. Just use a ruler to measure, or you can use your one of your decimeters, but you don't need to use a unit cube. That's going to take way too long. So do your measuring. This page is really easy. Okay. When you are finished with everything, okay, so you can go ahead and hit pause now and finish everything. You're going to make sure you don't skip anything. So check it to make sure you didn't skip anything. I know this is a pretty easy lesson. Hopefully it didn't take you very long to do. When you're done, remember put your pages in order. Staple it on the top, top left side. Okay. Now go through check to make sure you did not skip anything that's the kind of some biggest thing i'm seeing is that kids are forgetting they're not checking so when you have checked everything i want you to put a smile at the bottom of page 624 on 623 when you're done with everything, so pretend like I'm done with everything. Put a crown on Joey. Okay, we can pretend it's his birthday. Then when you are all finished with this and it's your best work, put it in your red folder to turn in. See you soon. Bye.